Hey YouTube, what goes on? And welcome back to This About Action Figures, bringing you Toy Hunt episode number 263. Thought I'd show you a random parking lot today. We're outside the Lehigh Valley Mall. It's been a while since I checked out some of the stores inside the mall here in Allentown, PA. So I thought we'd just do something different, look around in here, and then of course let's do it at Walmart and Target and so on and so forth. But before we get into that, if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free for you, it does not cost you anything, and it helps us with the channel tremendous in the March to 5,000 subscribers. Then go ahead and hit that bell for notifications. That way YouTube actually notifies you and will tell you when we post new content here on the channel like weekly toy ants reviews and live streams leave a comment down below hit that like button and for daily toy content and daily toy updates try checking us out over instagram and twitter at disavowed underscore 12 let's see what they have inside okay so i'll start off in gamestop this is super small in here so i probably have to put music over the top because i will not be able to narrate at all So Macy's Toys R Us store. I rarely come here. Um, I mean, like rarely, like maybe I've been here three times. But I thought since I'm in the mall, I'd see what they have. The answer is not a whole heck of a lot. But we'll poke around and see what we can find while we're in here and kind of move, move on from there. All right, so they used to have some legends here. That's sitting here. I don't know what it's priced at. I don't see a, a sticker on there. But there's a bunch of those still here. They do clearance here, believe it or not. So it's not a bad place to check. Some old bone breaker. There's Siren. The good old saga of Siren. If you follow my channel, you know how long I played the long game on her to finally get her for like five bucks at Best Buy. Tons of pops, pops, pops. Basic stuff down this way. Uh, not a whole lot going on in here, unfortunately. That's why I don't come around often. So I just kind of walking around looking at things. And they do have some clearance figures here. So 11.43, 50% off. So they have two Ms. Marvels, a blue Marvel, and a speedball. So again, if you're looking for cheap figures, I guess you can maybe check your Toys R Us if you have one inside of your and of course although it's not the same and never will be the same there's Toys R Us and Jeffrey hanging out right here so there's all right so this is for Art G by the way the G stands for great uh, art you gotta check this place out I think it's your type of stuff I know nothing about it but I'll show you a little taste of what's inside just for you Art just for you All right, so I was about to say the comic book shop was gone. This used to be in the old Disney store, the other side of the mall. It relocated here. Let's see what's inside. Good job, good job. 
And this is actually where the Disney store used to be and where their comic book shop was before. Right here, now it's dead. Actually, JC Penny of all freaking places. Yep, this is a deep dive just for you. JC Penny <laughs> Toy Hunt 1640, it looks like, for the Snake Eyes. Uh, and then we have more of them over here from the Wave. So, yeah, even here they're not fully discounted. Crazy stuff. Friggin' JC Penny. Do some layaway while I'm here, right? And Hasbro Gaming, well represented here in JC Penny. Uh, this is probably already at Ollie's for like, what, negative $6 or something like that? <laughs> but this actually is at Ollie's um, for like, I think it's 8 or 7 or 8 But uh, yeah, no Marvel stuff, but they do have Fortnite. No Marvel Legends, I should say. They have Marvel stuff, just no Legends. Alright, so back here at the, uh, the Walmart, and uh, what is going on here? Walmart, what are you doing? <laughs> Look at this. As of, I guess it's today, $19 clearance on these brand new freaking Spider-Man Legends? What the hell? I mean, a couple of the cards are bent, but it's nothing bad. I'm also noticing here, I forgot the difference in card. But this looks more like the retro card. But what are they doing here? $19, man? I don't know what the story is with this. I mean, if you're opening them, who cares about the banged up cards? But I guess check your Walmarts to be safe. I'm thinking this is the one-off screw-up, to be honest, at this particular Walmart. But... Yeah, just heads up, man. This, this is weird. <laughs> I might grab this and honestly return to the Target, uh, effectively getting it for, you know, $19 since I got it at the, the $24.95 price. But, man, crazy. Walmart be crazy. All right, nobody's in here. King of the Isle status. So real quick, other clearance items. 14 on different DC multiverse figures. Static Shock. It's all Static Shock probably, so they're lined up. Yeah. Uh, the Squadron Micro Galaxies are down to 22 uh, Razor Crest is there. The little mini guys, a little mini queel in there. Uh, also down here in 19. I think we saw this the last hunt at the Hazelton Walmart. But yeah, crazy stuff. There's a lamp. Anybody want a lamp? Uh, that's, I think that's about it for feel. Oh, here's Rotons too. 13 on the Roton. You can build your Roton army if you want. But I've seen those at many Walmarts now. So if you're looking to get that at a cheap price, that, now's the time to check a couple Walmarts because. I've seen it down to eight. I don't think I filmed it at eight just because I was in a hurry that day. Down here we have some Avatar going on. But I think that is it for all the figure stuff, unless I'm missing something. Whatever that is right there, 650. But okay, I think we're gonna get out of here and hit another location. There's eight on He-Man mode two. But yeah, this is nuts. I had to share this with you. Really crazy. Probably a one-off, uh, but probably gone really quickly, I'd imagine. I'm taking a lecture, leaving the rest, but okay, let's get out of here. Next location. Back at Cedar Target a couple of videos ago, we saw this was pretty stacked up with the white boxes, the anniversary figures. So they still do have uh, the Dooms. They still do have some of the secret, uh, the scroll secret invasion stuff. Uh, as you can see, the Iron Mans are still here. Hawkeye also still here. There's two of those down there. Um, most of the waves are here. So we have a whole dedicated peg here going over Quantum Mania for the Egghead, Ultron, uh, Ant-Man, future Ant-Man, Spider-Mans are all here. So again, still very stacked up. But what they didn't have last time was this, and I'm considering picking it up. Um, I kind of want that Destroyer. I'm sure a lot of people are trying to move on from that Thor since it's basically just a, a reuse, but the Destroyer looks freaking awesome. So I'm considering it. $59.99 is kind of steep, but it's going to probably be a top 10 deluxe figure of the year contender, I would think. Other than that, they still have Banner and another Thor Devourer in the back. So Destroyer starting to devour. So I'm thinking about that, I'm considerate. Uh, and anyways, down this way, G.I. Joe, we still have Rocket Roll. We still have our Shipwreck. We still have Dusty, which is probably gonna collect dust eventually uh, and go on clearance. These are all still down here. That's an amazing pack right there by the Joe team. Multiverse stuff, some gold label. Mr. Freeze is here. He's a cool looking fig. I like him again, I just don't, don't do multiverse anymore. I have my Lobo and a couple others, and I'm happy. Uh, the Dark Knight Rises figures are great. There's all your Transformer stuff right there. And spin move back behind. Turtle Land, what you see is what you get. 
some more Mo2 Sunman down this way. Indy's still here. There's the Dal Destiny Indy. I don't think that was here last time. If it was, it was buried. And wrestling, we got a Seth frickin' Rollins here. Good to see for the Ultimates. Uh, other than that, AEW is still a ghost town. There's no new AEW coming out on pegs. I saw a couple Tazes, and that was about it. And that was months ago at this point. But uh, I'm going to go ponder getting this and see what else we can find. Maybe we'll check NECA. If I don't show you anything, it's because it was just boring and nothing really new was there. So, all right, let's get all out right, of here. So, as I said, always keep your head on a swivel. Walk around these stores because this is another aisle they tend not to use for clearance. And they have clearance in here. So, uh, they do have uh, the Ground Ripper down to $9.89. That's insane how cheap that is. Beast Man down below down to $9.89 it looks like. Um, down this way, it looks like mostly just some other basic stuff. Three twenty nine for those, but uh, man, up in the air on this thing, I just don't know. Let me know in the comments. Is this something you pick up? I found it, but I think there's going to be. All right, so back here, Crocs, and I already did a walk through. There's not really anything new out, but besides this stuff. So first, oh, I'm sorry, I did the first time. I did see this guy uh, at one Walmart. So I've seen Hulk. Have not seen Zeus. Zeus is freaking cool. <laughs> Again, I don't really collect these, uh, the elites anymore, but Zeus is one that I think on a clearance price, I would grab just because the, the actor's head sculpt. That's amazing. Uh, this is the Mr. Perfect Build-A-Figure. We also have Dolph Ziggler here. So we have, uh, is that the whole wave? Uh, no, I guess we're missing the Uso. Uh, but yeah, cool to see those here. Um, cool seeing Zeus for the first time. Everything else here is your normal, typical stuff that's here, unfortunately. I never noticed Cody's on this truck for the packaging. It's actually kind of cool. But uh, yeah, that's probably all I'm going to show you here for Crocs. I might be back here in the same video to update you uh, later on in the week if we find anything else here. So I don't know why I do this to myself. It's on sale. I might, I might grab this, even though I really don't do elites anymore. That's a cool looking figure. Oh, man, I don't know. Do I really need it? <laughs> uh, playing the game here, right? Playing the game, but it's a good price on it for sure. I don't know if I'm going to do it. So I got a request from Six Packs and Knickknacks to pick up the Ziggler for him. So I'm going to grab that. Uh, and check it out. I mean, it's right there in front of me, but scanned it for absolute clarity. 749. So I'm grabbing him. It's a great base figure. Uh, Nick Fury. I know some smart people made an archer figure out of it. So uh, yeah, grab that buck too. And is that portion of the video where we go to an Ollie's? Because <laughs> it is a summer of Ollie's, summer 2023. Um, again, I don't think there's a lot of change here. I actually didn't do a walkthrough here yet. I'm kind of just uh, going at it live here. So, I don't know. We'll see. I think they added more of these out. I don't think all these were here at this store last time. I can't remember if somebody said Daredevil showed up here or if it was at the half-off store where Art goes. Because um, these all are the same ones I always see. Got the Little Joes down this way. Some are the Star Wars that's been here for quite a while now. So, still looking for Bucky O'Hare, the original version. Uh, and, of course, the Toads. So... They're kind of the one I think everybody's trying to find and either not finding or somebody's, you know, buying them all out. Uh, last time I was here, those Riri's were here and I put them right behind. So somebody got those. So good on them. I was not looking for it. Um, all right. I don't think there's much here. So I'll probably take a walk through, see what I can find. I'll show you anything else that's interesting. Um, I think that's probably new. Not that anybody cares. But uh, and if I find something else, I will show you. If I don't, well... I'll talk to you in another location. Okay, so this is cool to see. <laughs> I saw this other people's videos turning up. I haven't seen it yet, so it's pretty awesome. Love me some Rick and Morty. I fell off it about a season and a half ago, but Pickle Rick, I'm Pickle Rick. <laughs> so fun. And you know what? I think we're going to call it a hunt there. Thank everybody so much for watching. As always, if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free for you. It does not cost you anything. And it helps us grow the channel tremendously in March to 5,000 subscribers. Please go ahead and hit that bell for notifications and enable all notifications. That way, YouTube actually notify, will notify you and tell you when we post new content here on the channel, like our weekly toy hunts, reviews, and live streams. Leave a comment down below, hit that like button. And for daily toy content and daily toy updates, try checking us out over Instagram and Twitter at disavowed underscore 12. Hey, everybody, if you're going to Toy hunting this week, please try to remember the three P's of the toy hunt. Patience, persistence, most of all, politeness. Take care, stay healthy. I'll be seeing all of you at the pegs.